everyone and welcome back to something very very exciting let me get 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 out from behind the, the flowers so that way you can see me clearly you join me at minecraft's newest snapshot it is the first official snapshot for the something wild update and i am so excited because this means we get snapshots regularly now for the Java edition and I've been waiting so long and I'm so excited, can you tell? We actually have a ton of stuff to go through because they added a bunch in the snapshot. So I am just gonna go down the list and experience it all with you. So let's get started. All right guys, the first thing we have to look at comes when you're exploring the cave. Now, while you're wandering around, placing your torches about to prevent monsters from spawning, you can stumble across this it's it's not the, the biggest of the biomes but the deep dark has been added into minecraft as a cave biome and it is full of the shulk blocks and the shulk veins and no mob spawn in this area so it's honestly one of the safer places to end up in a cave and you can kind of just mine this stuff in heart up to your heart's content and it's really really cool it's still like a really cool thing and it is looks like it's gonna be a cave biome such as the dripstone and the overflow whatever that one's called biomes in the caves this is just gonna be one of those that only spawns below deep slate and i think it'll be a really fun thing to to come across while you're exploring caves and i'm, I'm really excited to see these while mining because they're really really pretty but we still have a lot more to get through, so let's move on to the next thing. All right, guys, we have frogs, and I am so excited to spawn this little guy in. I believe that this area is considered a temperate, like, you know, uh, you know, uh, it's, yeah, like a medium temperature. I'm not sure where temperature is. Is that on here? I'm assuming somewhere in here it tells you what temperature the biome is and i just i'm no clue where but i am now gonna spawn in my first frog oh my goodness he's so cute look at the animations oh my goodness he's animated so well ah! his little thing look oh my gosh look at his little thing come out it's little throat <gasps> i've lost him he's jumped over me <laughs> there are adorable i love him i love him so much okay okay we have something really cool uh i need to get both a slime and a magma which is not called that in shakespearean it's called a burning cube i found it okay i found the burning cube so we're gonna spawn in this uh we're gonna get a sword because he can't kill something that big uh one moment little guy eh eh Eh. There, there, little guys. Come on, time to eat. Time to eat. Right, you wanna eat? You gonna walk away? Oh, oh, oh! <gasps> oh my gosh! Uh, kill him, come on, more food. More food, feed the frog, feed the frog. Come on, come on, over here. Uh, over here. There he comes, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Look at him. Ah! I'm dying inside. Oh! That is the greatest thing ever. Now, ready? Uh, sorry, let me weaken it. Oh, okay. There we go. How about magma cubes? Yeah, you wanna kill some magma cubes? Oh, and there we go. Look, look, he's giving us these. So, uh, he is, comes, he's an orchard frog, I guess. Simply because that's the light type he's getting me. Which makes me, which I'm assuming is still the temperate. I'm just, I'm not sure. But he's gone about and dropped me the lights. So, these guys have two purposes. The first is that they will kill slimes and get little slimes. The second is they'll kill little magmas and you'll get temperate lights or one of these other two, depending on which type of frog it is. And don't worry, I'll show the other two frog variants, but I want to start with looking at this first light that comes from the brown frog, which I am assuming is a temperate frog, just because this biome seems temperate to me. And this is what it looks like. 
and it's super pretty but I do have one issue with it and that is that it is another uh, bordered block kind of yeah it's definitely it's a very bordered block and I was kind of hoping we get a light source that wasn't bordered uh, it does go sideways and forward, which I do appreciate that it can be uh, diagonal based on what you face, but I was really hoping for a non-bordered light source and this is not going to be that, but it is really pretty. I think it'll look really good as like windows where you don't actually want people to see through is something I would use this. Mushroom stems, it definitely looks like a mushroom stem, uh, but we still have two frog variants to go and find and spawn in, so let's go to a, uh, I guess cold biome? So supposedly I guess we just like- oh! Oh I didn't realize that! So they kind of go on top of the water. Now these are froggy eggs. Uh, I'm assuming eventually we'll be able to breed the frog and get these and they should hatch into little tadpoles. I wonder if we have a tadpole. Oh no, but we do have a buck of a tadpole, which I think will serve the same purpose. So frog spawn, <gasps> hi, uh, will turn into one of these, which is a frog. Hello, little froggy. Hi, it's very cute. Does the salmon eat the frogs? Okay, I have like a minute of panic that the salmon's gonna eat the frogs. Now, I don't know if there's any way like to speed up these guys' growth or not, or if I just have to sit here and wait until they grow up. <gasps> well, that's not a smart thing to do, little guy. You're gonna die! I assume he's gonna die. I'm assuming he can't live outside the water. Oh wait, don't worry, he's gonna- No, he's dying, he's dying, he's dying, he's dying. Come on, back in. No! Okay, well that was heartbreaking. Uh, all my tadpoles have disappeared. Oh, it does! Okay, so slime bowls speed them up, which makes me wonder, wait, something. Hey, guys, 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 I have a question. Can I breed you? We can. Okay, where's another frog? Uh, here, we'll get you on me. One moment. Okay, go. Go for it. Okay, they stare at each other very intently. Uh, and then I assume it's like turtles? No? I was- I was thinking it'd be like turtles and one of them would go to the water. I think- I don't think they produce anything at the moment. Alright, I'm in the desert. This is definitely a different temperature biome from the last one I was in. And sure enough, we got a desert frog! There he is! Look at him blend into the surroundings. So let's find out which frog light this guy gives me by spawning in a magma cube and slicing it on one of the sword, so that way it drinks into little mama cubes. Alright, eat them! Eat them! Come on, little desert guy! There we go! Alright, so the desert ones will give you the fluorescent frog lights, which are purple and absolutely stunning. Look at this, look at this. I'm gonna set the time, time set uh, midnight, because I want to see these at night. Look how pretty those are! Uh, I love them. They give up a ton of light too. They're extremely nice. I like the purple. I'd almost say more than the yellow. The yellow gives off like this warm light and then the purple gives off like, I don't know. It seems kind of weird. I feel like the colors don't quite match. Like this warm light feels more deserty warm while this purple one feels more icy cold. So I'm, I feel like they got the lights all mixed up, but we still have one more. Okay, it's snowy, it's cold. For Pete's sake, game, give me a frozen one. Thank you! Okay, does anyone else feel like these frogs are slightly mixed up? Like, does that actually look like the frog you would find in a snowy area is like a bright green one? Cause usually those are more like lush areas. Yeah. There we go, and sure enough, this gives us the Verdant Frog Light, which is very green. And I think these three colors are really good. I think they complement each other well. I think they complement other blocks in Minecraft. And I think they made the right choice. It's honestly very 
Halloween-esque. Yeah, these are Halloween colors. They gave us Halloween colors. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but that is what they have done. Now, my thought is that the frogs are, like, completely mixed up in my mind. Like, green feels like a temperate... Green actually feels more like the warm, I'd say, because green is like what you see in jungles and stuff, but I guess they were going more desert frog, but still. And it should, yes, be associated with the green color. Uh, and then the, I guess, warm looks more like the cold one because it's white and it should indeed drop the purple one, uh, which means that I think they got the temperate right in that it's brown and that it ha produces these. But I think I think they got the warm and cold ones mixed up in my opinion color wise. Like, I get it, you want them to blend in, but at the same time white is associated more with snow and green frogs with the- I just- it feels a little mixed up and confusing. But either way, all the frogs are super duper cute, their animation is cool, and what they do is even cooler. And I'm really happy to have them. I like the tadpole spawn. Uh, I'm assuming that will turn into tadpoles eventually, and that you have to put it over water and stuff. It looks really good. I'm really excited for when, like, frog mating will produce it. I'm assuming the same way that turtles do. And maybe they'll even lay, like, multiple eggs, or multiple tadpoles will hatch out of the, the spawn. But, I think it's time we move on to the next thing in this update, which is the mangrove, which I have thoughts of. Okay, let's start with this. It's red. It's, it's a red brownish wood. It looks like a mix between acacia and jungle, which are two of my least favorite woods, and having them combined together does not make them better. Uh, let's talk about the stripped version in the fact that it doesn't add a new palette in my opinion. Like, I don't, I don't feel like this is adding anything into the world of Minecraft. And that's the thing. When you want a new wood, you want like a brand new color that adds a ton to Minecraft. And mangrove wood isn't doing that. We're getting another red wood. And technically, we've got like three. Because we have the uh, the nether redwoods, which I think is ugly, but that's not the point. We ha and we have the acacia, which is a slight orange tint. And some would say, yeah, we need more red. And I do admit that this is a prettier shade of red than both the acacia and the uh, nether wood. But at the same time, I would have liked a different color than red. I would have liked a white or a black wood, which yes, there are mangroves that produce those color of woods. So it's not that far-fetched for that to be a thing, and I really wish they had done that. Uh, instead of going with like the most popular mangrove color being a color that's kind of- it's just- it's in Minecraft already. What I do like, this is really cool, it's kind of see-through, uh, and these are supposed to be growing with it, and I think they did a great job representing the roots here. They've been playing with a lot more roots recently, which I think is cool, especially with like the rooted dirt from the azalea trees. Uh, and then we also have muddy mangrove roots, so the roots like racing through the mud if you want a non-see-through version of that, which I think is a really creative way to give us a non-see-through version of the roots. We also have, of course, all the different variants. The slab is like every slab, the fence is like every fence, the stair is like every stair, the button's like every button, this is like everything. The things I like to look at mostly are the doors, and I adore this door. It's so cute, and it's another solid door, so I have issues with a lot of doors being see-through, uh, and this one is not, which is great for builds where you don't want to do the interior, and it's a gorgeous door. I approve of the door. It's such- look at that. That is a good door. Good door. Uh, the trap doors are also beautiful. I love them. I like the- I love- they're very cute. I- don't think they like go well as like making a row of them like you kind of want to do with trap doors but I think doing like portholes and stuff will be really fun with this and I like that it's a circular window and I see a lot of uses for the door. Good door. This is the same. The boat's the same as anyone else's boat and then there's also the sign which is also the mangrove and yeah uh, which you know looks like the other signs. And then we also kind of have this. So as you can see, they all, they honestly look really cute together and I think that's going to be a really fun floor plan. But my thing is we have a lot of similar colored woods 
and I just think this was our opportunity to get a bold colored wood and we might not get that again because I can't think of many trees that give black and white wood in real life except really the mangrove so you know petition to have the mangrove wood color be changed into one of its more exotic colors please but beyond all of the things the thing that makes this tree very special is is how it grows also we've trapped a frog in the boat which is funny uh so things involving this little shoot thing which i'm gonna get some bone meal so we can actually grow it it's supposed to have multiple multiple uh growing stages right now i'll only turn into an oak tree because we don't have mangrove trees but if i bone meal it it just turns into an oak tree okay so it doesn't seem to have many you know like it does it doesn't have its stages yet but they grow on the bottom of these guys which is the mangrove leaves i apologize i don't have like fancy leaves because i can't afford fancy leaves because it kills my computer i like the mangrove leaves i think they're really good i think it's nice to have like big thick leaves and that this is a leaf that's different enough from the other leaves to be a good leaf i approve of the leaves very good leaves but bone mailing mangrove will cause it to uh a new one to grow within four stages so i guess it's supposed to grow from like underneath this leaf which right now it's not so it's not attaching to underneath the leaves like i think it's supposed to all right let's move on to something else i'm stupidly excited for if i could spell it correctly which is mud look at all the mud we can ignore the mangrove roots because we've already seen that but we've got all sorts of fun mud variants which i think is such an amazing addition to the game so this is what mud looks like on its base uh walking on it causes you to sink so for example we go from ice to mud and we kind of sink in it which is a cool feature i like it i won't lie i thought the mud would be a bit lighter this doesn't quite look like i love the texture and i think it's really pretty but it doesn't feel like mud to me like this isn't i look at this and i don't think this is mud at all like i've seen mods that add in mud and it looks so much better than this so i'm i'm questioning that but you can pack mud into this block which actually looks a bit more like mud and i like this block it's scaly it's it's pretty i think these are gonna make some really good paths which i'm excited for and then you can make things like mud bricks which looks so good uh, this is gonna be such a useful building block i can see so many stinking possibilities with it and better yet they gave us the stairs and the wall version so we can have mud stairs walls and stuff like that uh and also of course the slabs don't worry don't worry they didn't forget slabs could you imagine if they had forgotten that and this is something really cool i think it's a great addition to the game and i'm excited to see what people make with these new blocks i just hope they i think it needs to be lightened up personally but i do i do hope they do that now to make mud is very simple we get a water bottle and we go up to a piece of dirt and we right click it Oh, does it actually have to be like legit dirt? Oh, it does! So you can't do it to grass. Fun fact. It has to be dirt. Grass, no work. Dirt does work. Okay, at first time I was like panicked, like it's not working! It does work. You just, it can't be grass. And you get like the mud, which I guess this is supposed to be the wet version of mud. I don't know. It just, it's not, it's not it for me. I do like this and I like the bricks and stuff though. I think they did a good job on that. But that, I feel like, needs a little help. Okay, let's move on to the last little thing called shulks uh i did do shulks before already uh in uh when we got the experiment uh snapshot but i will run through the shulk stuff real quick just because i feel like that's something kind of important just to do what they say on the thing so let me just make sure i have all of the blocks all right we have the shulk catalyst block it is a soul emitting block that blooms with shulk patches underneath nearby dying mobs so you kill a mob and it spreads the shulkiness uh so that's pretty much what that is uh it spreads the shulkiness into this which are really pretty shulk boxes blocks boxes haha <laughs> blocks uh and the spreading will just grow the certain blocks 
as many times as things die. It's a little, it's a little absurd, but it does do that. Uh, we also have the Shulk veins, which are super duper pretty, uh, and they are to be acting like a uh, glow lichen, in that they can be placed any orientations, and it can spread to other other blocks. But these can also spread underwater too, which I think is very cool, and it's one of my prettiest vines. It's so nice. It's so pretty. And then we have this guy here, who doesn't do anything at the moment. He will later on summon the scary demon creature from the depths of the soul. But for right now, it's just a really cool, pretty block. I can see it doesn't even, it doesn't even shriek yet, which I find interesting. Also, just some like little things. We now have a 3D directional audio, which is great for headphone users to like help you pinpoint where things are happening and stuff. I am not a headphone user. Uh, I bug my friends because I don't use headphones, so it doesn't help me much. But when I do have to put headphones on while recording and stuff, it's kind of cool. So I'm excited for that feature and feel like it probably should have been added ages ago. And I'm glad that it's now going to be in the newest update of Minecraft. Also notes on blending. Blending will now not just work on overworld biomes, but also biomes underground. So those should be blending into each other now too. So it's just like a little makeshift blending at the moment. Also that it's animated in my hand, which is cool. Uh, uh, it's just a makeshift thing at the moment, but I'm sure it will improve as the snapshot improves and it'll be great by the time it makes it into uh, the actual update. We have space glyph providers. Uh, I don't fully understand what that is, but we have it now, so I guess that's cool. So we also now have pack filters, which I think will be making Minecraft a lot better and easier and stuff, and just allowing you to customize your game even more, which is, I think, a huge part of Minecraft and what it is, so I think that's a really cool addition. Uh, we also have world presets, it's kind of got an updated, it should now be easier to create preset worlds and tag them and all that stuff so that's a good just life quality of life thing there's also been a ton of texture supposed fixes in all of the bug fixes i read through all the bug fixes it's mostly just texture stuff so now some of the textures should be matching more hopefully and looking more consistent and i think the funniest one that i want to talk i just want to, i want to point it out because the way that they worded it was funny um uh, where they're just like corner and smoker bottom texture is still rotated incorrectly. Hopefully they finally got that fixed. Like they've been trying to fix that every single snapshot. I feel like the, the, the smoker texture being broken and they're still struggling with it. I don't know what's up with the smoker texture. It's killing the devs and I think that's hilarious. But hopefully it's now officially fixed but we'll, we'll see. Watch it not be and in the next update they're like saying it's fixed now we swear. It's gonna be like the Herobrine. Everyone remember Herobrine? The smoker's uh, texture is the newest Herobrine. Brian. You heard it here first, folks. But that is everything that the snapshot has to offer, which is a ton. I do want to suggest one thing to Mojang, and maybe you guys can like put on the form and hint that. I like how frogs grow in different areas, and I know that this seems like a big thing, but I think it'd be really cool is if mangroves did the same thing. If you planted a mangrove in a certain place, it would produce a different type of wood preferably the black, white, and red variants of the different mangrove trees, because mangroves have different variants. It's really cool. Look up what mangroves are. They are the greatest trees ever. And that way, we get three new wood types to make up for the fact that the azalea tree is not a new wood type. Uh, and also just to give building, and it kind of fits with the themes because they did it with the frogs. It's just a suggestion, Mojang. That's all. You can ignore it, but I think it'd be really, really cool and kind of encourage this theme that it's Minecraft seems to be having, which is encouraging you to build in a bunch of different places and areas in order to actually collect everything you need to, you know, play the game. So, just a thought. A really cool one is doing that. And that way, everyone's happy and we can keep this pretty wood, but also get two new ones. But that is all the time we have for today. I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day, and I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Bye! Oh.